Hello. Uh, this video will explain how to build a submap consisting, or let's say a map consisting of three submaps. So this is what we just uh, did the track. As you see, there are three submaps. Submap zero, submap one, submap two. So this is the submap one, submap two is and submap three. So it covers all this area. So this is submap one beacons. One beacon over there, one beacon over there. Then uh, at the end, let me show. At the end, uh, there is this beacon. This beacon belongs, this beacon 82, and it belongs to uh, submap 1 and submap 2. So this is beacon 78, which belongs to submap sub map 2. And now I, I will be coming back and we'll be showing the track uh, of the mobile beacon on over all those three submaps. So once again, there is a beacon installed. We believe this beacon is a forklift, robot, drone, virtual reality helmet. I will put M to remove the track, and now let's move. So this is live, live tracking. As you see, we define the service zones. Service zones define uh, for each submap where the submap will be handling the tracking. So now we are in service zone of submap 2. You see? They are pretty far. So, wait, wait a second. Stop, stop that. So uh, we are here and that is where are the beacons of submap 2. So please continue. So now we are passing middle of the map. So this is one of the beacons which is handling. We are returning back to the area where we started. So that is the beacon. Effectively, the tracking is everywhere where the visibility to those two beacons of this particular submap is. So we are returning back to the desk. So that, that was the track. As you see, there were two interruptions. One is here, I don't know the reason, probably some radio, and another was here, also not uh, difficult D difficult to say now because we need to analyze but otherwise the track was absolutely smooth in all this area so this way it's possible to build maps of virtual any size and to cover a very very large area so now we'll be showing how to build even larger areas